Good morning, Cardina. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Have here a set, a card from my PSA set registry, Mike Schmidt basic set registry, 47 total cards, all of his um, flagship product releases from all the different manufacturers uh, during Mike's playing days. This one obviously is the 1990 Donruss. This actually isn't part of his playing days. It came out the, obviously the year after he retired, but I'm not sure why they included this as part of the basic set registry as it is a, a tribute card more than anything. All-time great, but it's one of my favorite cards because it has his career statistics. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of card companies that did that. They printed the entire career stats. One of the reasons I wasn't a big fan of upper deck backs uh, too often, uh, nor Donruss, uh, to be quite honest with you, they would only do portion of careers to save space. Uh, this one being a tribute card from Donruss had his career stats on it, and a similar one like this resides in my Hall of Fame binder, uh, representing Mike Schmidt, because again, it has his full stats, nice picture. Um, and this one's a Gem Mint 10, part of my PSA set registry. My random baseball item of the day, I was looking through one of my old sets. I actually do look through these sets once in a while, even the boxed ones. I'll pick them out and just thumb through them for fun. Uh, and a lot of the um, more recent sets, the factory sets, because I always get a factory set, the more recent factory sets contain um, va rookie variations or something like this. Well, I went back to 2004, and what I found was draft pick cards and it was interesting to me i'm going to show off the one i have there were there was a little subset of 15 draft picks five random cards of that 15 picks 15 uh, card set were included in each factory set so i got a pack of five my cards were numbered one through five of the set and it was interesting to see the draft picks because here's a guy named josh johnson the Kansas City Royals, Donnie Lucy from the White Sox, Greg Golson from my Phillies, K.C. Heron from the Rangers, and Jeff Marquez from the Yankees. This was back in 2004, almost 20 years ago. I have no clue who any of these guys are, not one of them. I know Greg Golson because he's a Philly. And I know he played, when I because I found a card of him, and then I looked at his stats, he played actually eight games for the Phillies in the major leagues. Never played again in the majors. I don't know how long he played in the minors, but he was a total bust. And I'm guessing most of these other guys were, were big busts too, because again, I haven't got a clue who any of them are. I mean, some of them may have had decent major league careers. I just never heard of them. They were backups or utility men, but... It's interesting to see. You go back in time and you find out who the hot prospects were. And the sad truth is, nine times out of ten, your hot prospects are busts. They just are. Um, you draft so many people to play this game, and so few of them pan out. You're happy when they did. You're lucky when they do. So just a nice, interesting thing to look back and see who the hot rookies were back in the day. I mean, consider our own game today. Kyle Lewis won Rookie of the Year, like, you know, three years ago. Jonathan India won Rookie of the Year last year, or, or two years ago, I should say, if you want to go to 20. I mean, people just don't, it's very rare that a star player maintains. It just is. Um, you know, Bobby Dahlbeck was supposed to be huge, so huge. Joe Adele, you know, we're all, hope, we have high hopes for Wanda Franco, Julio Rodriguez is the big name this offseason. So um, you never know. You never know. So if you want to, if you ever want to invest in rookie cards, the best thing to do is save them all, wait until they become big, and then slab them and re recoup the money. But <laughs> when they're going for uh, gobs and gobs of money right up, right off the bat, sell them now. Sell them now. I got to actually have a Julio Rodriguez uh, blue parallel from Update on the bay as we speak. And I think it's up to like 28 bucks right now. And I got, it's got a couple more days to sell. So 
uh, you know, I, I don't know if Julio Rodriguez will, will make it or not, but I'm going to cash in right now. I'm sorry. Anyway, today's trivia question is a rookie question. I have here a really cool Brandon Marsh, Topps Chrome rookie. Chrome's where it's at. Uh, if you're going to get rookies, I'm sure, you know, you could say the parallels, the fire, the sapphires or whatever better, but uh, stri strictly speaking, the chromes are where it's at. This one, just it's it, it's been warped a bit. It's not, um, it's not bent. It's not damaged. It's just over time the card has warped like all chromes do. It's still a good card if you got it. Put it in, I'll put it in a top loader. Try and straighten it out for you. Uh, but once you get this thing slabbed, if you want to, it'll be great. That's Brandon Marsh rookie for this very simple, very simple question for you all. Um, <clears throat> which rookie won World Series MVP this past year? Beat my Phillies. And this guy won MVP of the World Series, and he was a rookie. Name him. Uh, send me an email with the correct answer. My email will be in the description below, along with repeating the question. You've got today and tomorrow to answer. We'll pick a winner on Sunday, all right? All right, so I'm getting back from uh, Christmas. As you know, I was off all Christmas week. Uh, and I'm just picking up some Christmas cards that I came across. I want to show off a couple of the Christmas cards I got. So I have it here. Happy Holidays. Just a little Happy Holidays with some ornaments hanging down. Sending you heartfelt wishes for a wonderful holiday season and a Happy New Year from, uh, I guess it's Mandy and Kenny Weaver. Someone's got to help me. I, I, I think Kenny Weaver is the name of a guy who goes by a different name when he does YouTube content. Somebody out there will know who is Kenny Weaver in his YouTube iteration. Please uh, send me an email if you know the answer to that question. <laughs> but thanks, Kenny. And then I got another one. <sighs> Mary Force be with you. Thank you, Baby Yoda. And from Adam's Card Closet, sending you a galaxy of wishes for the best Christmas ever. Hello, RJ and family. Want to send some holiday cheer your way and wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year's. Take care and stay chipper. Adam from Adam's Card Closet. So thank you, Adam. Adam was also kind enough to send me a little uh, semi-rigid holder with some cards. Let's see what we get here. A nice JT Real Muto prism. It's like this is some kind of, oh, it's just a base card. I wasn't sure if it was a subset. Nice Aaron Nolan. This is a an optic, the uh, foil version. Cool Reese Hoskins rookie, rookie of the year favorites. That's a nice one. I have a small collection of Reese Hoskins rookie, not too much. And the nice uh, Reese Hoskins optic red parallel from prison. So there you go. Thank you for that, Adam. Appreciate that immensely. That's all I have for you today. Just catching up on some uh, some Christmas cards that I was missing while I was on vacay. Hope you all had a great holiday season. By now, we're all back into the swing of things, obviously. So uh, I just want to say I appreciate everybody's uh, support for my channel. I try my best to support everybody as much as I can. Please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. Uh, Let's see if we can't keep growing everybody in this card community. Let's get everybody to 100,000 subs. Everybody across the board. Let's do it. I don't know if there's enough people in the world to make <laughs> all of us 100,000 subscribers thing, but we can dream, can't we? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come back on Friday. Take care.